Welcome to the Cave of Wonders, friends. I am Lord Callus of the Dreamwalkers. A few days ago, they announced the names of the cast that would be appearing or returning to Star Wars Episode Nine. But what does that mean for the names that they didn't announce? Okay, now that we know that Mark Hamill will be returning as, as Luke Skywalker in some form or fashion, whether it be a Force Ghost or, or perhaps J.J. can pull some magic trick out of his hat and, and return Luke to us in the flesh, but uh, we do know that Mark Hamill will be returning uh, in Episode 9 as well as Carrie Fisher. Um, she will be coming to us, not in, in, in CGI form, but through unseen uh, footage that was shot during uh, The Force Awakens with J.J., uh, so that's great to see. Um, we know that Billy D. Williams will be returning to reprise his role as Lando Calrissian. Um, we, we have Ray, we have, um, we have Finn, Poe, we have Maz Kanata, we have Hux, we have Kylo Ren. Uh, so we have all of the old cast returning, uh, as well as some, some, some newbies. We have Kerry Russell, we have um, Richard Grant, uh, and we have uh, Naomi Aki. So all of these people were announced on StarWars.com a few days ago uh, that they would be joining or returning uh, to the cast for Episode 9. What they didn't or who they didn't mention, however, were a few names that have me um, just questioning, like, well, what, what's going on here? Um, and, and it could be calculated or deliberate, um, meaning that they, they left these names off the list on purpose or perhaps these characters just ran their course uh, and so only time will tell uh, we do know that Ryan Johnson has has done it before uh, I believe even JJ has done it before where they've left names off just to keep it a surprise for uh, for when the movie actually does come out so the first name that I noticed was not on that list was Frank Oz Yoda so Yoda will not be returning in episode 9. Uh, this, like I said, could be, it could be a trick. <laughs> or, um, it, it could be that Frank Oz, there would be no need for Frank Oz if they have him return in the form of a Force Ghost, kind of like they did at the end of uh, Return of the Jedi, where um, you had you had Anakin, Yoda, and, and Obi-Wan Kenobi show for Luke at the end of Return of the Jedi. In which case, there'd be no dialogue, so there'd need, there would be no need for uh, Frank Oz to show up, right? So that's one possibility. The other is that we have seen Yoda uh, for the last time on the big screen, uh, which is kind of sad, uh, especially since that movie would be The Last Jedi. Um, another name that I noticed was was missing was um, Wendell and Christie. So, Captain Phasma. Captain Phasma will not be returning in episode nine. The fire consumed her, armor and all. Uh, it's such a waste too because she was a great character or could have been a great character that was underdeveloped in both The Force Awakens and uh, The Last Jedi. So, uh, we've now seen the last of Captain Phasma. Andy Serkis, Snoke. Wow. So some of us knew that, or speculated that, uh, you know, that this was going, that the Last Jedi was the end of Snoke, uh, and I kind of understand that. Where they they say that uh, Snoke had to die in order for, um, in order for uh, Kylo Ren to reach his full potential, or to make his his fall to the dark side that much more complete. Um, but I disagree because if uh, I believe that Snoke was to Kylo Ren as Palpatine was to Vader, I mean, and there was no reason to kill off uh, Palpatine in um, in uh, uh, Empire Strikes Back, right? We we were able to see uh, the redemption of Vader through all three uh, movies, so I don't see why it could be or needed to be any different. Uh, for this one, in fact, it would have allowed for more character development 
which we were, we were hoping for with snow. And we got none of that because they killed him in The Last Jedi. Um, so Andy Serkis, name not mentioned, meaning Snoke was actually chopped in half. Benicio Del Toro is the last name that I noticed was not on that list. And uh, the reason why this one was surprising was because it, at the end, uh, when, when Benicio betrayed um, uh, Finn and, um, and Kelly Marie, I forget her, uh, Tico, Rose Tico, uh, when he betrayed those two and, and sort of just walked off, it kind of gave me a feeling like, um, like Han Solo when he, when he was leaving Luke and Leia in the hangar in A New Hope where he was choosing himself at that time, but then at a later time he comes back and he helps uh, Luke blow up, up the Death Star. So I was kind of feeling like maybe we would get some of that with DJ, Benicio Del Toro's character, uh, in this next one. Maybe he would come back and redeem himself in some form or fashion. Um, but uh, alas, without the mention of Benicio Del Toro, we've got no more DJ. So again, we, we've sort of got characters that were underdeveloped. Um, whether or not you care, that, that's your own uh, thing. But anyway, you guys, let me know what you think. Those were four of the names that I noticed were, were not included with this cast announcement. Um, good or bad, just kind of is what it is now, right? Or we could be, we could be victims of the, <laughs> of the the trick right where they just leave the names off intentionally so only time will tell december 19th is not right around the corner but it'll be here before we know it so uh you guys i appreciate your time and talk to you later hey thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed that video please let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts who's returning is luca force ghost all of that good stuff and while you're there, please like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. I'm on my grind trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, so every little bit helps. And as always, thank you for spending your time with the Dreamwalker.